Hi, this is Vicki Romaine with Cheerful Greetings, and today we're going to make a panel card. First, I take my 8.5 by 11 card stock, cut it in half at 5.5, and, and fold it so I now have a 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half card. Next, we will take the piece of card stock that's 3 by 3, and I will be putting these measurements in my description. Uh, this piece will be used for my image. I'm using Memento ink. The color is Tuxedo Black. The stamp that I'm using is a Stamping Up stamp. It just happens to be one that I like. Uh, it's a collage. And now I have my piece stamped. This time I'm going to be putting the card together before it's colored. Usually you would color it first, but in this case you can do it either way. And today I'm just going to make the card first and then go back and show it colored. Next, I'll take this piece of uh, cardstock that I stamped and I'll cut it into one inch pieces. Here we have the one inch pieces and you have to make sure you put it back together in the same order. So we'll set this aside. Next, cut a piece of colored card stock and this is three and a quarter by three and three fourths. And we will do the same thing to this. We will cut it into three pieces. Since our image is in one inch pieces, the matting will be in one and a quarter. And we put this down here. And we Put our pieces on it. Now this could be done two different ways. I could have put my matting on here in a solid piece and put the pieces on top or I could put it with three individual matting pieces. Now I, I will take my glue. I use Elmer's uh, rubber cement. I like the fact that you can put use it on your um, cardstock and move it around in position like you want it without it sticking. And then after it dries, it's on there permanently. So we'll do each piece like this. We'll glue it down and have them evenly on the mat. Okay, the next step is to put it on our card. The card will be in the portrait style this time. I'm going to take my left piece and position it on my card. I give it a little border at the top and on the side. And as you can see, I can still maneuver my cardstock because it hasn't quite dried yet. Now, this time, I'm going to use the piece on the right. This way, you can get it on your card fairly even. Then, the third piece, the one that goes in the middle, will go on last. And 
and here's my card. Um, I will be coloring it and putting a sentiment on it. My sentiment will go down here um, in the bottom of my card. Here's my sentiment. It says birthday celebrations. It is also a stamping up stamp. Okay, here's my finished card. It says birthday celebrations, and that is also a stamping up stamp. I colored with Copic markers. If you notice, I didn't color everything on there. I just colored the main images. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please come back and see me, and uh, please subscribe. Thank you.